Hey everyone, Chelsea here from So Simple Home. Today's project is one that's really great for the kitchen. Um, we're going to make a plastic bag holder, so a grocery sack holder, if you will. Um, this is a project that I've done years ago and thought I would update the video because it's super useful, and especially now with uh, grocery sacks like coming and going from different grocery stores. Um, some have them, some don't. It's a nice way to um, collect the ones that you do have and keep them safe for use later. So what we need is a um, kitchen towel. It doesn't have to be brand new. It doesn't have to be nice or expensive. It just needs to be a towel. So you can grab one from the dollar store. You can grab one in your kitchen that you have right now. Um, I will say this. The longer the towel, the more room that you will have for um, grocery sacks. Then you need about a nine inch piece of ribbon or uh, you know something like unto it. And then you need two pieces of four inch elastic. So four inch uh, cut pieces of elastic. This is quarter of an inch elastic. You can use half inch, either of them will work. All right, so to start, we're gonna get our towel ready. And personally, I don't like the tag on it because I feel like um, in the past, like I'll stick my hand up in there and then the tag's always in the way. So I pull the tag off straight away. All right, and then this one has like a little loop on it um, for like hanging or drying or whatever. And for this, this particular project, it's just kind of in the way. So what I'm actually gonna do is I'm gonna take this four inch piece of elastic and I'm gonna sew it to the bottom of this towel. And that's going to make it gather at the bottom, which is what I want. Um, so I am going to kind of find the middle and then find the edges of where it might stretch. Now this towel is actually pretty wide so I could probably do a five inch piece of elastic and get maybe a little bit better of a gather but it's going to work just fine. So what I'm going to do is put the towel in my machine with the elastic at the edge. I'm going to go forward and backwards on this elastic and then I'm gonna stretch it. And I'm gonna sew that elastic as it's stretched. I want it to stretch as I sew. It's not normally how you might sew elastic. But at the end, really do a good back stitch. And then you'll see here how it bunched up at the bottom. See how it did that nice little bunching? And again, with this project, I probably could have done a little bit bigger piece of elastic. In fact, let's go ahead and do, we're gonna do a five inch piece on the opposite side so we can kind of see the difference, okay? It's not gonna make that much of a difference um, that the two edges are different, but it'll be nice to see it um, all sewn together. So I'm gonna do the same thing on this side. And so this is the, the finished edge, right? So they've already turned it and then turned it and pressed it and stitched it. So I'm putting the elastic just above that hem, okay? You could sew it on the hem, but I actually kind of like the look of it with the hem um, out, kind of, I don't know. It adds kind of a little frill, if you will, at the bottom see that here in just a sec. So I'm just pulling this elastic same way I did on the other side. Oops. And then I'll back stitch. And you can kind of see, give it just a little bit more of a gathering. Now this piece, the reason we do this is because when we actually sew this together, it keeps the, gar the trash bags from falling out, right? I don't want the trash bags to fall out of my towel here. All right, so my elastic is sewn on each side. And now I'm going to sew my two sides together. So I'm taking it, my towel, and folding it hot dog style, right? So long sides together. You want to pin it, that's fine. 
few pins in it just so it'll kind of stay in place. Match the top edge. And then I'm going to sew this at about a half an inch. Forward and back. All the way down. Just making sure. Just all the way down that straight side. sure I back stitch at the beginning and end right because I don't want this to come apart don't want my towel coming apart okay now we can turn it right side out go oh. now you can see those gathers here at the top right so that's what's going to keep the grocery sacks inside right is those nice gathers Okay, and like I said, if you wanted to add a little bit more elastic, if you feel like it needs a little bit more, you can always add more. Okay, then the next thing you're going to do is take the um, ribbon that you have, and you're going to match those two ends, and then you're going to find the seam that you just sewn, and you're just going to stitch this right next to that seam. Okay. Just pour it back. Okay. And now you can hang your grocery sack holder with all those grocery sacks. Hang it up inside your pantry, in your garage, wherever you keep them and you have plenty of grocery sacks um, and now they're out of the way. They're not in your face. So that's just a really, really easy project that you can do in just a few minutes. It also makes a really great gift. So if you know somebody that just has a stack of grocery bags under their sink, right? This is a great way to store them and get them out of the way, but also really useful because you just come in and grab one. Um, if you have questions, let me know in the comments. And if you need the photo step-by-step -step tutorial, the link is in the description as well. And I hope you enjoyed this uh, project and we'll see you next time.